Imagine living in a world where smart contracts are not just digital innovations but legally binding agreements that can transform the way we handle everything from business deals to rental agreements. Well, guess what? That world is already here, and Cardano has just made a groundbreaking leap into the future. The blockchain giant has become the first to host a legally enforceable smart contract in Argentina, a historic move that could change the global financial landscape forever. Hello fellas watching around the world, welcome back to another episode of the Zaki Crypto Update, your best crypto plug. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most revolutionary moments in the blockchain space, Cardano becoming the first blockchain to host a legally binding smart contract in Argentina. This isn't just news, it's a game changer that could impact how legal agreements are structured globally. So, make sure you watch this video till the end to get the full story on what this means for Cardano, Argentina, and the future of blockchain. By the end of this video, you'll understand not only why this development is monumental but also how it sets the stage for the widespread adoption of blockchain technology and real-world legal systems. We'll break down the specifics of this smart contract, the impact on Argentina's legal framework, and what it means for crypto enthusiasts and investors like you. You do not want to miss a second of this, because this is the future, and it's unfolding right before our eyes. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and tap the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest updates in the crypto world. We've got tons of exciting content on the horizon, and trust me, you don't want to miss out. Cardano's Legal Breakthrough in Argentina The Cardano network has been gaining significant traction globally, but its latest achievement in Argentina is one for the history books. In a groundbreaking move, Cardano recently became the first blockchain to host a legally enforceable smart contract in the country setting a new precedent for how blockchain technology can integrate into national legal systems. For those unfamiliar, a smart contract is an on-chain program designed to automatically execute actions based on predefined conditions. It's like a digital handshake, except this time, it's written into code, impossible to alter, and now legally binding under Argentina's judicial framework. Let's break it down. On Tuesday, Moro Andrioli, a prominent Cardano ambassador, announced on Twitter that he had signed a legally binding, blockchain-based agreement with fellow ambassador Lucas Machiavelli. This wasn't just a symbolic gesture, the contract was judicially enforceable, meaning that if any party failed to meet the agreed terms, legal action could follow. This isn't just about two people exchanging cryptocurrency, it's about using blockchain to cement legal obligations in a way that the courts can enforce. Now, let's get into the details of the smart contract. As part of the agreement, Andrioli loaned Machiavelli 10,000 ADA, which at today's market value stands at approximately $3,362. The contract stipulates a 10% interest rate, payable over four months. This isn't just a handshake deal between friends, this agreement was legally notarized, which means that both parties submitted personal details like their names, addresses, wallet IDs, and the transaction ID. The inclusion of these details ensures that the contract has real-world legal validity. What's more, Machiavelli confirmed the receipt of the funds on Twitter, teasing that he plans to invest them into Cardano native tokens. Although he has kept the specifics of his investment strategy under wraps, he promises to reveal more when the contract matures in four months. Why is this such a big deal? Well, it's not just about one contract, it's about what this contract represents for blockchain adoption in Argentina and, potentially, the world. Moro Andrioli, who is deeply involved in promoting Cardano across Latin America, believes that this smart contract agreement will fast-track the adoption of blockchain technology among Argentine corporations. Imagine a world where businesses no longer have to rely on traditional paper contracts but instead use smart contracts to handle everything from commercial transactions to real estate deals. Andrioli is pushing for smart contracts to be seen as legitimate legal agreements in Argentina's judicial system, and this first legally binding smart contract could be the catalyst that drives this forward. If Argentina's courts continue to acknowledge smart contracts as enforceable legal tools, the country could become a hub for blockchain innovation and a model for others to follow. If you're as excited about this as we are, take a moment to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's your chance. You don't want to miss future updates as Cardano continues to push the boundaries of what blockchain technology can do. Andrioli has made it clear that this smart contract is just the beginning. While this particular agreement focused on a loan transaction, he believes the scope of blockchain's legal potential is much broader. He envisions a future where smart contracts could be used for everything, from rental agreements to purchasing property, and even settling employment contracts. 
Argentina is already well prepared for this shift. The country's civil and commercial code, along with Presidential Decree 7023, provides a robust legal framework for blockchain-based contracts. And with Argentina's new president, Javier Malay, showing strong support for cryptocurrencies and digital assets, the stage is set for rapid adoption. In fact, Malay's pro-crypto stance has drawn attention from blockchain leaders worldwide. Cardano's founder, Charles Hoskinson, is set to meet with President Malay later this month to discuss how blockchain can further integrate into Argentina's economic system. This meeting could pave the way for more groundbreaking initiatives, not just in Argentina but across the Latin American region. What we're seeing in Argentina is part of a larger trend. Blockchain technology is moving beyond speculative trading and becoming a fundamental part of real-world systems. Just last month, a court in England recognized Tether, a stablecoin, as property in a legal battle. Similarly, in the United Arab Emirates, legal entities are now classifying cryptocurrencies as valid forms of payment for salaries. What does this mean for investors like you? It means blockchain technology, and by extension, cryptocurrencies like ADA, are gaining legitimacy in the eyes of governments and legal systems. This is huge for long-term adoption and could spark a wave of new interest in blockchain projects that offer real-world utility, like Cardano. Before we wrap up, I want to say a huge thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. What's happening with Cardano in Argentina is just the tip of the iceberg, and there's so much more to come in the blockchain world. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on future updates. And hey, if you want to dive deeper into other exciting blockchain developments, check out my recent videos on the latest XRP updates and Cardano's transaction capabilities. Trust me, there's a lot to learn, and I'm here to keep you informed every step of the way. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.